Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Red here, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tell you all right away. Uh, this is Dead Man mode. So basically, I'm not gonna be. I haven't been making or working towards the Iron Man progress at all, just because this is just so fun right now. I hope you all understand that. But anyway, um, I didn't really like record what I was doing like for the first like part of Dead Man mode. I was just kind of like playing it without recording. I tried recording it, but it just didn't work out because I didn't really know what I was doing. And there was just kind of, like, everything. But anyway, uh, I kind of just want to discuss kind of, like, how I've go been going about Dead Man Mode. When I was first starting, like, I was kind of just going for, like, the combat route. And I kind of found out quickly that uh, melee doesn't really work well uh, as far as killing people goes on this. Because people will just range you or mage you. And it's kind of more important to have that, like, far cast ability in case people run from you to actually kill them. Well, anyway... Uh, what I did was, I got Hunter up kind of like once I kind of like started formulating a plan, right? And here's why. Uh, in Puro Puro, there's a lot of Implings I can catch right now. If you want to see my Hunter level, it is 67 right now. And I have been getting that up mainly through uh, catching Salamanders. It is insanely fast XP. I was getting around like 1.4k XP a Red Salamander earlier. But now I actually unlocked the ability to catch uh, uh, Black Salamanders. So I will be doing that. It, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around like the 1.7k XP mark. It's just insane. But... Uh, other than that, I'm basically at Puro Puro right now. Um, if you're wondering how I got these, like, random, like, uh, runes in my inventory, it's through these essence siblings, man. And this is just, they're really nice to catch because if you're trying to runecraft or do some, I don't know how, you know, useful runecrafting would be to me right now, like, mainly because it's one of my unprotected skills anyway. Um, but the essence implings actually just give me a lot of runes. So if money's kind of a problem and I don't have... You know, I need to get some magic XP. I'm still fairly low magic XP. I really need to get my, like, combat-related stats up. But right now, uh, basically what I'm doing is <clears throat> getting runes from Essence and Ling is really useful. But the way I'm making money, um, if some of you have, like, done Hunter before, you'll know that the highest impling I can catch right now is Magpie Implings. Well, Magpie Implings actually can be extremely profitable. Uh, the first thing I got from them was a tooth half of a key, and right now that is just really good money for me. I'm pretty sure I can sell that around for like 12k, so I put an offer in in Zybez and I'm kind of just waiting. That's why my private's on right now. It's usually on like friends are off, but anyway, um, that's kind of like how I'm going to be making money. Uh, but anyway, guys, I just want to make you like a quick update video, kind of like if you were kind of expecting like an old school rune or uh, Iron Man progress soon. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a little bit. I'm probably going to make some Dead Man progress videos though. Just in the meantime, just because it's simply so fun. I'm having a blast playing this. It's really cool. But like I said, I need to work on getting my combat stats up. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be trying to make money. And using that money to get, like, mage XP and stuff. It'd be nice to get some teleports and some combat XP. I also saw that a bone cross, but was insanely useful uh, as far as range goes. It was hitting probably, like, 15s and higher. I remember when I was on my Iron Man, that's kind of, like, the main weapon I was using. But it's a pretty good weapon for how, like, cheap the ammunition is. So I might try that. Uh, I also was getting money through thieving. Uh, you can actually get some insanely fast XP off the guards in Ardone, and it's a safe area, so you can literally just pickpocket uh, or get the food from the stalls and just keep pickpocketing for XP. And it's just great. Anyways, guys, like I said, I just wanted to give you a quick update video and just kind of show you what I'm doing. Tenati, or that's I don't know if I can sell that, but I don't know if anyone's gonna be smithing, but I'll sell that, man. But anyways, guys, I'll see you all next time in the next video. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Yeah, this video isn't over yet. Alright guys, so to fast forward a little bit, man, it's, I don't know how long it's been since that last clip I just made. I know it's just a couple seconds ago, but this is probably a day and a half later. But anyway, my Camtasia kind of like crashed mid-YouTube upload, so it just didn't upload for whatever reason. So I kind of just kept playing, th thinking it was uploaded, but it wasn't. So anyway, I might as well kind of just inform you of like what just happened and kind of like what's been going on anyway. Because a lot's happened since that last uh, Puro Puro clip you all just saw. Um, basically, I got my magic up to 59. I do want to get it to 60 and hopefully get, uh, the god spells going. I don't know, you know, blood, blood spells or blood runes are very expensive right now. And also, I kind of got to figure out the right timing to go to the, uh, Mage Bank in the Wilderness because that place is kind of overrun with clans right now and people are kind of just controlling it. And I need to make sure that I go at the right time. So, um, I'm in Eastern Standard Time, uh, US. So... I'm thinking I need to go kind of like late my time so UK won't be on and kind of like people even my time won't be on so I'll have the best of luck not running into a clan, getting a godspell done, and having that. Anyways guys, as you can see, uh, I'm 30 range now, kind of have some pretty newbie uh, ranging armor right now. But anyway, I'm working on animal magnetism right now, uh, but in order to do that I need to get, I think it's 19 Slayer. Uh, as well as 35 rune crafting. So I'm going to do that, knock out animal magnetism so I can get my Avis accumulator. And uh, my lock skills are currently uh, 
range and mage uh, thieving for my combat stats, as well as thieving and hunter and woodcutting. I don't know why woodcutting. The third one doesn't really matter because I didn't really know what I was doing. But I'll probably keep it that way anyway uh, for my uh, non-combat stats. So anyways, uh, the reason that I'm keeping these combat stats uh, locked instead of like HP is because HP is actually very easy to level back up, especially with these being very high. Uh, once I actually get Black D high and I'm like killing things very quickly with range and magic, the HP will be just very easy to get back up. So that's it's good to keep your offensive stats, you know, safe. So, anyways, guys, I am gonna go knock out uh, animal magnetism as soon as possible. And uh, other than that, I will hopefully be making another progress video tomorrow, kind of showing where I'm at. But anyways, plan is now just get my offensive stats high, and uh, we'll see what happens. But until then, I will see you all next time. Enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the extra kind of progress clip there. But anyways, yeah, I will see you all soon.